so when there are uh, these uh, passive tags are 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 used uh, there are two different approaches uh, to transfer power from uh, reader to passive tags these two different approaches uh, are uh, near field and uh, far field uh, uh, approach and the major, major advantage of uh, far field uh, tags um, is that they, they can signal information over greater dis distance compared to the near field as the name suggests itself because uh, and, and, and this far field passive RFID interaction is based upon capturing the electromagnetic waves propagation from a dipole antenna attached uh, to the reader. Whereas uh, near field passive uh, RFID interaction is based upon the electromagnetic uh, induction. So there is a, there is a large RFID reader, um, so there is a RFID leader basically passes the large alternating current. Uh, through its electromagnetic coil which is basically an antenna and uh, result uh, resulting in an alternating magnetic field in, in its locality and if a tag that incorporates a smaller coil is placed in this field then this alternating voltage uh, which uh, appear across the tag uh, will uh, enable the tag for uh, taking the power from uh, the system. So like if you look at uh, the far field uh, passive RFID interaction is uh, basically a smaller uh, dipole antenna uh, in the tag which receives the energy from uh, as, as an, which receives an energy as an alternating voltage difference and this can use these uh, to charge itself with the energy. And as the near field uh, magnetic induction cannot reverse the process uh, to transmit a signal from uh, tag to the reader as the field reduces uh, inversely with the respect of cube of the distance between them. Whereas that is possible in, in case of uh, far field uh, passive RFID tag. So what is personalization like we have talked of? So what is the personal use of uh, annotations? Uh, these uh, tags the main example of uh, uh, the physical world annotations uh, for personalized and social tags that uh, we have discussed is basically targeted for uh, um, uh, business and organizational users uh, and uh, there are several initiatives to annotate uh, the personal views of uh, the physical world for example uh, the my life bit project uh, uh, in before before five four or five years was uh, to record all the personal experiences of an individual and uh, which 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 can be used uh, to uh, represent the uh, uh, say a view for a particular user which is more personalized uh, uh, for the user so that project uh, uh, was another project was Semacord uh, and uh, which proposes a scheme to define uh, the labels uh, that can be automatically processed from the captured images and linked uh, to the web based special information and in encyclopedia. So this is where uh, the uh, web page where you can convert the uh, URL to visual code. So this is the visual code which is attached to a physical world. So suppose if the image, the printed image of uh, these uh, digital image which can be attached with these code. So now wherever you see say this uh, photograph is a printed photographs you can scan these code through your mobile and you can access more information about that image from the web if you are connected with web and these code can be uh, 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 a unique code which has been uh, attached through your mobile device and you can access more information through internet so this is a really very interesting uh, uh, research and uh, interesting application which was uh, developed. 
so let us talk uh, now about the uh, different types of uh, sensors and uh, different types of sensor networks so what is sensor and what is sensor uh, network so sensor is uh, a type of transducer that uh, converts some physical phenomenon uh, such as heat light sound into electrical signal so sensors are always say uh, which has been placed in 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 the physical world are uh, 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 the analog device it's it's not a digital device and that is why we need to convert it into electrical signals so the sensors can sense the heat light sound or whatever the type of sensors that we are using and which needs to be converted into an electrical signal now the sensors can act as a data generator because sensors always generate a data because it is sensing from the physical environment and it intermediates or a services nodes or which receives or what post process and stores data possibly remotely there are chemical plants where uh, say temperature sensor or many other different types of smoke sensors are are installed and in case of higher temperature it can report it to our remote locations anywhere so these uh, sensors uh, can act as uh, uh, say data generators So there are many applications uh, of uh, sensors. There are uh, say cars. Uh, we we have uh, many different types of sensors in cars and computers are also loaded with different types of uh, uh, sensors. Now in retail and logistics, we already have seen retail management and logistic management uh, uh, how the sensors are used in household tasks. Also, uh, uh, we can think of many applications. where sensors can be used we can have buildings where say if uh, uh, in the in the day time if uh, light is enough then uh, there are sensors which uh, detects the intensity of uh, the light in my room and uh, based on that it will control uh, the lighting of uh, my uh, smart room and there are temperature sensors can be placed in building where say uh, it can be used to sense the temperature and based on that the air conditioning uh, system will work for uh, better envir environment monitor monitoring and for better uh, energy control there are industrial sensing and diagno diagnostic applications as we already have discussed in the chemical plant uh, the say say smoke sensors and uh, Uh, gas sensors or say temperature sensors can be used uh, for different purposes so sensor basically your whole environment is uh, say loaded with different types of sensor and this sensor together make a sensor network so these are basically the sensors that detect the event and you you have a access node uh, uh, which basically uh, uh, connected with some sort of network and you you have a storage here so you have a physical phenomena or a physical environment from where the sensors are sensing and generating the data and uh, this access node which basically connected with a system and user will come to know if anything happens here it can be notified uh, to the user so the these connections of net these sensors is basically called a sensor network you can have different types of access nodes and different types of sensor network for creating or sensing different kinds of uh, environment so the sensor networks uh, the main com component of uh, the sensor network uh, system are the sensor connected in a, in a network that is uh, serviced by the sensor access node so there are say three different types of node uh, common node sync node and gateway node when when we talk of uh, uh, the sensor network so this uh, common node are are basically main responsible for uh, collecting the data from uh, the environment say for example these all are common nodes which basically collects the data from the physical uh, environment 
the sync nodes are responsible for uh, receiving storing processing um, the data from the common node and the gateway nodes that connect sync nodes to the external entities so like these are the sync nodes which basically responsible notify the access nodes uh, these nodes are notifying the access nodes and these are the gateway nodes which connects the sensor network to the external system so this sensor can act as a node in a network of uh, sensors and uh, there is a special sensor network server uh, also can be created uh, and which is very much essential in the sensor network and uh, this server which is responsible for connecting this sensor network to the external system which is called the access node so what are the different functions uh, of uh, the sensor network uh, like the computer network we we have a layered uh, architecture and we have a protocol stack uh, but the sensor uh, network also have a, a layered architecture and with defined functions uh, for each of this layer so at the bottom you have a sensor electronics where uh, uh, these sensors are placed in the physical environment to sense the physical environment uh, which are responsible for digital signal processing and uh, power management so these sensor electronics layers um, need to take care of uh, digital signal processing and power management now you have a sensor to network interface which is say internetwork and uh, the sensor to network is responsible for sensor distribution and density and uh, your, your the work in the radio frequency environment and optical transmission characteristics and physical environment characteristics this sensor to network layer is responsible for when it comes to say internetwork the routing infrastructure uh, and the internode connectivity and addressing of these different types of uh, sensors which has been placed in the sensor network uh, takes care Uh, taken care by the internet work layer whereas the data processing uh, layer will take care of uh, how these data is been generated in store and uh, will take care of uh, event definition and processing and collaborative processing along with uh, data discovery so 